Hello, welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today I've got a real treat for you, clustered bar graphs. So we're talking about graphical displays for categorical data. It's a type of numeric summary. A clustered bar graph is going to give us the opportunity to look at a graphical display for two categorical variables. So remember that for categorical data, you have two options for graphical displays. You can have a bar graph or you can have a pie graph. However, a pie graph can only be used for one categorical variable, but a bar graph can actually be used for two. So here is our bar graph. It's called a clustered bar graph because if you'll notice, it actually is displaying two variables. Now, we in previous videos looked at a contingency table or a two-way table for nicest fruit and age group. That's the same data that's being represented here. You can see that I have a legend and that's the second of my uh, categorical variables, whereas the x-axis, so remember that's the horizontal axis, is the other categorical variable. So we have fruit and then we have age. And what you'll notice too, if you remember that video for the two-way table, each of these is actually one of the cells. So it's a unique combination between this categorical variable fruit and that categorical variable age. So here, when we have fruit and our favorite fruit is berries, you can see that because this is that kind of yellow color, this is for the adult group. So everybody represented in this bar of the bar graph is going to be people who said their favorite fruit was berries and then they're an adult. Now the one immediately next to it is going to be the same variable, right? It's still berries, but we're identifying that it's the other of the two categorical variables by having it be pink for the children. And so here we have about 30 for children whose favorite fruit is berries. Now again, here we have the counts, and remember that's a synonym for frequency. Also, you will remember from that two-way table that that's what we call an observed count. So that's actually what we observed in the data. So you would read the bar graph the same way. It's clustered because we have different clusters depending on the different variable that we have being represented with different colors or patterns. So it's clustered by the second variable. And you can have a variety of categories. It doesn't just have to be two. You could have three categories that created the cluster. Uh, but ultimately, with a clustered bar graph, you can only have two categorical variables. The first categorical variable would be represented on the x-axis, just like a regular bar graph. But the second categorical variable comes in with the clustering, and that can be represented with different uh, colors or different patterns. I'll see you in future videos for different topics.